Yo, get on the case. Hey guys, it's me, Alex Movie Buff here, and today I'm going to be talking, or actually showing you, um, some new Blu rays that I have um, collected over the past, I think it was the past week or so, I'm not too sure, but. Um, yeah, these four films I really enjoy. That's why I've got them on Blu-ray. The only reason why I've got um, this is the only reason why I've bought Blu-ray films. Some of them aren't the greatest films of all time. I mean, definitely sex tape, but I sort of enjoy them, sort of. I mean, I have to be ridiculously bored and ridiculous, and I have to turn my brain off uh, completely to watch that film. But I put it on Blu-ray. It was cheap. Why not? So. Um, to the matter in question, these four films I bought on Blu-ray recently, and I'm going to show you the two of them. So, first kicking it off, we have got, you can see that, Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey. Now, what Stanley Kubrick did back in the mid-60s, was it? 1966? Or 1968, sorry. Um, what he did was truly, truly epic. I love this, the special effects for the time, especially, and the practical effects, was... Um, Unbelievable, and it still—I reckon it still holds up even to this day. This film is awesome. If I were to give it a a, um, a system grade or a grade, I, I would probably give it a um, probably an eight and a half out of ten, maybe a nine. Probably eight and a half because there are a few, there are a few, there are a few things wrong that I don't like about uh, 2001: A Space Odyssey. Um, but I, I won't tell you because I don't want to spoil the movie for you. But um, truly, watch it if you haven't seen it. It's a really good film, it's a really intriguing film. The special effects for the time are epic, and I really, really um, encourage you to see that. So next, um, one of last year's really great films, Nightcrawler. Now, this film was really, really creepy. I really got scared about this film, not in like a horror sense sort of film, not in a horror, horror film sort of way, but sort of the film like this sort of person um, what's his name? Lou, Lou Bloom, played by uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. There, um, he is. I still I give him credit now because he is a really good actor and he transformed himself. It didn't see. It didn't in the film Nightcrawler. Um, it didn't look like Jake Gyllenhaal. It looked like this weird, creepy character. It was a bit like Heath Ledger's Joker. It was so creepy. He was he was so into his job. He. Um, joins crime journalism and he does whatever he can and without the without consequence to get the stories he wants and it's a truly amazing story really good film really well done film no wonder it got four or five stars everywhere if I were to give it um, a rating I would give it a um, probably a nine out of ten I'd say nine out of ten actually it's a really good film um, See it if you can, it's awesome, and it's just, oh my god, wow, still can't get enough of that film. So, the next one, Sherlock Holmes, the Robert Downey Jr. one, the first one, Not I have not got uh, A Game of Shadows, I probably will get it in the future, and I love these films, I really, really do, I, I hear that they're making a third one, they're trying to get it off the ground, um, I'm not too sure if they will do it, but uh, who directed it? Guy Ritchie. Guy Ritchie did an amazing job of doing um, Sherlock Holmes Justice and Robert Downey Jr. smashes it out of the park like he does these days as Sherlock Holmes. He does a really good um, uh, Sherlock and Jude Law as Dr. Watson. Really good. Epic, epic film. Love it. Probably give it a, a 9 out of 10 as well. But the last one is my favourite one out of the, uh, the new ones and it's one of my it's one of my most favourite films of 2014. It wasn't my favourite because I said Interstellar was, but this is a very, very, very close second. It's Whiplash. Now, Whiplash is... God, if, you can, if you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's winner of the Grand Jury Prize Audience Award for when it won Sundance. It's one of the best films of the year. It's I think it's Oscar nominated, Academy Award nominated, and it's one of last year's best films, hands down. It's awesome. I love it. J.K. Simmons, Parker, give me some Forrest Spider Man. Damn it! But um, J.K. Simmons is is an awesome actor. 
Miles Teller. I saw Divergent and I was pleasantly surprised by his acting skills and then I saw Whiplash and I, I give him credit now. I really hope he gets more um, stuff done in the future. I really get to, he gets more films in the future because he's got a long, long road ahead of him. And J.K. Simmons, I want him to be the new Spider-Man. I want him to be the new Spider-Man in the MCU because I think that's just going to be hilarious. I love it. But yeah, that are that. Those are my new Blu-ray films that I have collected over the past few weeks. So that's all I've all got to say. And uh, before I sign off, I just want to thank you for everything. Oh, sorry, everything that you've done, all of you, every single one of you that have subscribed and um, seen my videos. Because the last time I checked, um, I was or we were at. I want to say we were at. We were at. Um, 11 subscribers now I know that seems like such a small amount compared to some of the uh, YouTube channels out there but um, to me 11 subscribers that's still a lot because there's just so many I can't believe that I never could see that a l that people would actually subscribe to my channel and watch my videos it's just <laughs> I thank you so much I really really do I appreciate it I can't find the words to thank you enough for this because this is just I, I can't believe that you do that you're watching me on on camera embarrassing myself on the internet but I really I can't I'm gonna get emotional about this but no I just I can't thank you enough for the amount of support and credit that you give me like so, a couple of people have been coming up to me at school and saying, "Oh, I watched your videos. You're really good." And I just, I just think they're taking the piss, but they're not. You just, <sighs> thank you so much. I love you guys. That's awesome. I love it. I just love it. I really want this to, you know, springboard into the future, and I'll see what happens. But yeah, that's all I got to say. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing for watching my videos. I love it. Thank you so much. Uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and become part of the part of the clan. Oh, yeah, I call I call it the clan. PewDiePie calls them the bros, or KSI calls it the KSI army. I'm gonna call mine the clan. So um, thank you so much to every single member of the clan, and I want you to be a part of it. So hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment below on what you thought, and I will see you guys in the next one.